the Appalachian Trail. Uh, I wrote a book about it, and in the book, I described it this way. In a forest in the heart of northwest Georgia, at the top of a mountain, marks the beginning of an exciting, electrifying, life-changing journey, or the worst damn trip you'll ever take. <laughs> and to me, at times, it was both. What is the Appalachian Trail? Uh, I have a <coughs> map here of the eastern coast of the United States. The Appalachian Trail is this red line that goes from Georgia all the way up to Maine. It goes through 14 states. It's 2,186 miles long. Basically, the trail in places is about a foot and a half wide. In other places, it's as wide as a Jeep road. It goes up and down steep mountains. It goes through dense woods. It crosses streams and uh, creeks on little narrow bridges, sometimes rocks that are used as stepping stones. I did not have any experience in backpacking before I started this project. My friends didn't backpack. My relatives thought a backpack is something you put on a sore back. So, you know, it was, it was the kind of thing I had to pick up as I went along. And I, I went to uh, outfitters, people who sell backpacking equipment, got some stuff together. And in March of 2002, I went to Georgia. That's down here. And started to head north. The first day that I was out there, I saw a guy coming towards me, had a red bandana around his forehead, salt and pepper beard. He was carrying a hiking stick. It was about this high. And on the hiking stick, he had attached a green stuffed gorilla. And I thought to myself, am I going to be stuck hiking 2,000 miles with kooks with stuffed toys on their hiking sticks? But when I got near him, uh, he pressed the gorilla's chest, and it made a screaming gorilla sound. It caused me to laugh. And he laughed, and he stuck his hand out, and he said, I'm Gorilla Jim. And that was the beginning of a lifelong friendship. He told me that the stuffed gorilla was given to him by his fifth wife. <laughs> That's his fifth wife. I'm still working on my first. Uh, and as a result, that's how he got the trail name of Gorilla Jim. I'd like to tell you how beautiful the site was coming down Springer Mountain, which is where the southern uh, terminus of the, the Appalachian Trail is. But in the spring, in the mountains, it is cold, it is damp, and it's foggy, and we couldn't see a darn thing. Uh, when we got down to the bottom, we did come to an area called uh, Cathedral Hemlocks. And it's so cool because the trees are so high, they're about 100 feet high, and have a canopy that makes you feel as though you're going through a cathedral. Um, the, uh, as I said, the trail goes over different terrain. Uh, in the first 17 days, there were... 14 days of rain. So a lot of people are going to say, well, how beautiful were the views. I will tell you when I get to them, but it wasn't during this period of time. <laughs> people say, well, how do you find your way when you're on the trail? They have something called blazes. You heard the expression, go to the blazes. Well, that's what we do. We go to the blazes. And they look something like this. It's a two-inch wide, six inches long paint strip. And where they want to tell you to make a turn, they put another paint strip on top of it. And so, you know, this is the Appalachian Trail. And they want you to go in this direction, or they want you to go in the other direction. They paint it that way. Other thing people always ask me is, well, where do you sleep? As if the uh, Holiday Inn is every 100 feet or so. No, well, you, you carry a tent with you. Or you can stay in what they call a shelter. A shelter, if you can view a, a big shed with the front cut off. There's no front to it. So there are two sides and a rear, a roof. And on the ground, they have a wooden platform. And what you do is you take your 
sleeping pad, and I have my sleeping pad attached to my backpack here. Detach it, and you take this, lay it down on the floor, put your sleeping bag on it, and that's your bed. Uh, of course, you, you find that there are half a dozen other people jammed in there with you, also doing the same thing. <laughs>